Larry Elder, Craig, is a larger-than-life figure out here in Southern California, having grown up here. He's been a fixture on conservative uh, talk radio. And now he is, as you said, the front-running replacement candidate in this recall fight against Gavin Newsom. We had a pretty wide-ranging interview on what the campaign says uh, is his home here in Los Angeles. We talked about COVID. We talked about the wildfires. But I also asked him about Stephen Miller, the former senior advisor to President Trump, who, according to the reporting of Jean Guerrero from the Los Angeles Times in her book, Hate Monger, uh, had Stephen Miller on his program, Larry Elder did, uh, dozens of times, including exchanging emails in which he said to Stephen Miller, the architect, of course, of the family separation policy, that he thought he should be president of the United States one day. So I wanted to ask Larry Elder about his relationship with Stephen Miller and whether or not he'd have a part in his administration. Take a look. Would Stephen Miller have a role in a Larry Elder gubernatorial administration? What does Stephen Miller have to do with this election? This election is about crime. Uh -huh. election is about homelessness. This election is about the fact that people are leaving California for the very first time in our state's 170-year history. It's about the way this man shut down the state, ignoring science. It's about the fact that a third of all small businesses are now gone forever. This election is not about Stephen Miller. This election is about crime. It's about the rise in homelessness. It's about the fact that... Gavin Newsom shut down the state while ignoring science. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but if while, Stephen while, Miller while, becomes while, a part of your science, administration, ignore... Stephen Miller is a part of this election. Will Stephen Miller become a part of your administration if you win? This this election is about crime. It's about homelessness. It's about the rise in the cost of living. It's about the fact that for the first time in our state's history, the average price of a home has reached eight hundred thousand dollars. It's about poor forest management. It's about the fact of running out of water. It's the fact that we're having rolling brownouts because of our poor failure to invest in our energy grid. It has nothing to do with any of the things that you it, talked it, about. It does, sir, because Stephen Miller I, I, was the I, architect of the separation policy, which was I've uniquely been disavowed I've been throughout California. I'm just curious, Jacob, is I've he still an advisor or a protege Jacob, or a mentee Jacob, to Jacob, you? Jacob, I've been, I've been campaigning for two months. I've been a politician for two months. I've been going up and down this, the state, from Orville above Sacramento down to San Diego. No one has asked me about him. So, Craig, that, you know, those questions obviously upset Larry Elder. He left without answering the questions, but then did come back after our interview to say he wanted to amend his answer. And he was very clear, unequivocally said Stephen Miller would not be a part of his presidential administration. But he did say he had talked to him uh, within the last three weeks after an appearance on, on Fox News. But that, again, that wasn't the only thing we talked about. COVID, of course, here in California is at the center of the reason that the governor is getting uh, recalled or facing a recall election in the first place. Larry Elder is against vaccine mandates. He's against mask mandates. And I asked him about that as children, uh, including many of our own, are going back to school. Here's what he said. You said very publicly, you don't believe in mask mandates. You don't believe in vaccine mandates when it comes to COVID. That makes a lot of parents of young children uh, very nervous when they're sending their kids back to school right well, now. Well, parents who, who want their kids to wear masks and who want their kids to be vaccinated can do that. I'm talking about mandates. I'm not anti-vax. I've been vaccinated because of my age, because of underlying comorbidity. Uh, I believe in vaccines, but a lot of people feel very differently. So uh, there you have it from Larry Elder himself. Governor Newsom, uh, again, is uh, on the ropes here, fighting for his political life. The president of the United States will be out here tonight campaigning on his behalf. One other thing that Larry Elder told me, uh, Craig, amongst amongst many of the uh, of the other uh, items that we discussed, is not just that he's against these mandates, not just that he says Stephen Miller uh, won't become uh, a part of his administration, but that across the board, this is a referendum on Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom wants everybody to believe this is a Republican recall, an undemocratic one at that. And on that note, Larry Elder did not say that he'd be willing to accept the results of the election come tomorrow. And I've pressed him repeatedly on, on that as well. Craig. All right. Uh, Jacob Soperoff, that was uh, fascinating.